Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1. We're uh, in Gizmo's Casino and we're gonna try to use our extremely high speech of 79 to uh, make him confess to any bad stuff. Oh, there he is. Look at him. This is, this is easily the most corpulent individual you have ever seen. <laughs> Alright, um... Nothing to do here, I guess. Hello, guys. What? Hey, can I ask you a few questions? Can you spare a few caps? <laughs> I'm on duty, make it quick. Can you tell me about your boss? Gizmo's a fair man. Pays good, works easy. Don't make trouble and everyone will be happy. Okay, can I go inside? I don't think they'll like it. Oh. Okay. Place your bets. You currently have 10,616 caps. How many would you like to bet? Five caps. Sorry, better luck like next time. Do you want to play again? No thanks. Bloody... Blah, blah, blah. A gambler. Can I steal some stuff? Are they gonna... No. Oh, is that the scum pit? Probably. Boxing guard, yep. Oh, can I box there? It's not like I have the character for boxing, but hey. Nom 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 nom. Ezo, okay. What do you want? I'm a busy Whoa. man. Whoa! A lot of talking heads in this one. I'm here to tell you your assassin failed. <laughs> I'm here to talk about the attempt on Killian's life. Hmm. I want to know how someone as stupid as you is still alive. No, uh... About the attempt on Killian's life. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. You hired someone to kill Killian, and he screwed up. Well, let's take a hypothetical situation. Such as? Well, let's say you did try and kill Killian, and your assassin failed. That means you need a new one to do the job right. And let me guess, you're that someone? Very good. For a price, of course. Well, how can I trust you? I'm here, and you need someone from out of town to do your dirty work, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Oh, I could put one over on you. Just no way anyone could put one round you. What? <laughs> <laughs> of course, but first I need to know why you want him dead. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? I uh, no, don't want to do him for you, but that's why I'm here. He'll be dead before sundown. Could you say that again, please, this time in my coat pocket? <laughs> I don't want to say that. Sure, it's a job. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double-crosses me. No one. Ooh. Okay, did we get the recording? Don't tell me we needed to activate this or something. That does nothing. Is it still here? Oh, it's on the bottom then. Damn it, I want my scroll wheel. What about this? Okay, so. Let's go back. What's this guy doing? Where's he going? Oh, that's locked. Okay. <coughs> Okay, let's go back. Let's go also to the uh, scum pit and see what we can do here. You know, I have to say, I'm really enjoying playing this because it's a Fallout game and I've never played it. It's everything is new. Oh, this looks like a fight of some sort. No? Welcome to the scum pit. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, what do you have? What would you like? Nuka Cola, beer, or the hard stuff? Let's have a beer. Here you go, enjoy. Oh, that was it. I thought she would give me some gossip or something. Is Mark a man in dusty leather armor with a trench coat and gas mask? You're on skull stuff, stranger. You better leave. Got any spare caps? Neil, welcome to the scumpit. What can I do for you? My name is Metal Canyon. What is this place? Neil looks at you quizzically for a moment. Haven't you ever seen a bar before, stranger? This is my place, the scumpit. You buy drinks here, and you tip me. 
Uh, right, I knew that. So can I get a drink? <laughs> yeah, um, can I get some other information? Okay, so what you wanna know? What's the scoop on this town? Well, just over there to the west of us is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you didn't know about it. Most of the people here are the ones who just finished losing the money there. Over in the other part of town, you got Killian's General Store and Marcel's Crash House. Killian's a good guy, runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. The Crash House is where you sleep it off when you've been in here for too long. <laughs> Can I get a drink? Okay, thanks. Nothing. <laughs> uh... I don't think we can get behind here. Oh, whoa, 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 what the hell is going on here? Oh, so where are you? Oh, whoa! Get the hell out of here, you goddamn punks. If any of you ever touch her again, I'll kill the whole lot of you. We'll be back, old man, this isn't over. Bloody hell, what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is cool. Nothing like this, I think, happened in follow- Oh, you gotta be joking, right? I got a free armor. Leather armor, the one I was actually wanting to buy. <laughs> is this because of luck or is this... Oh, this is brilliant. This is awesome. Uh, what's that trophy on the shelf? That's not a trophy, it's an urn. It contains my wife's ashes. Besides this bar, it is the most important thing in my life. Oh. Anything else? Information. Who are the jerks? Oh, them. They're the Skulls. They're a local gang, all the riffraff. Sometimes they start fights or cause a little trouble. Usually Killian keep, keeps them in line, though. Thanks. That was... wow. Does, does this guy have a 223? A 14mm pistol. Okay, that's pretty... yeah, badass. Um, actually, can I ask you some questions? I guess so. What did you scream about, Saul? Saul is my boyfriend. He's really good to me. Who is Gizmo? Gizmo runs the casino. He would like to take over Neil's bar, but Neil doesn't want to sell. Killian and Gizmo do not like each other. One of them will either have to leave town or be buried beneath it. Who owns the bar? Neil owns the bar. He's a good guy. Always treated me right. We used to date, but he got a little too serious for my liking. I don't want to be a widow. Thanks. I want to talk to this guy. Well, this guy has a gas mask, so... I don't know new face. Traveler, there are a dime a dozen. No, that would be annoying. There are a dime... A, a travelers here are a dime a dozen. But you have the look of someone different. Care to join me for a drink? Sure. Delightful. I hope you don't mind your drink well watered. They treat beer here like it's a potted plant. <laughs> so what's your story? I could ask the same of you. In the interest of amity, I suppose I'll tell first. I'm called Tycho. Came here from out east. What used to be called Nevada. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a pretty long trip. Yeah, it was. Decided to take it easy for a while. This place shows some promise just as soon as someone cleans up some of the scum. Why don't you? Oh, yeah, I noticed. What do you know about those jerks? There's two grades of scum here. One of them's the Skulls, a gang that hangs out in the back of Marcel's crash house. They're just great beat warps. But the other ones answer to a fat freak whose name you can probably guess. Runs the casino. Those guys are organized and dangerous. I see. Thanks for the info. Whoa, not so fast. We never finished introductions, remember? What's your name, stranger? None of your business, you nut. <laughs> I'm Methyl Canyon. Good to meet you. Step carefully, friend. Well, that was interesting. Hello again, how can I help you? I need information... Killian's asked me to clean up this town and I'd like your help. Uh, about the town? Well, this is the scum pit. A wretched hive of villainy and all that. Just west of here is Gizmo's, the big casino. Where it is that games are rigged? A little south of here is the crash house, run by Marcel's, where you can get a nice sleep for way too many caps. Past that is Killian's. Killian runs a general store and he also enforces the law in this town. A good man. Then south of there you have Doc Morbid, whose operation is a little funny if you take my meaning. Okay. Killian asked me to help clean up this town and I'd like your help. Well, it's about time. Lead on, my friend. Well, let's do some street sweeping. I'd recommend knocking over Gizmo if I may. Excellent. 300 experience points for recruiting Taiko, the Desert Ranger. Can I trade? No, you can just barter with NPCs in this one, apparently. Okay, let's see. He's got... He's got a shotgun, apparently, because he's got shotgun... 
shells. What sorts of weapon skills have you learned? Pretty good range of training. I can use a spear, of course, in a pinch. I'm also skilled with small pistols and rifles. Alright. Well, this is the problem. I'm hard... You know, I'm... I'm not really sure I should be giving these guys weapons, because... You, uh... You actually give them stuff, and then to get it back, I would have to buy it off them. And that's a big no-no in my book. Alright, there's nothing here. Well, I've got three NPCs now. A dog and two guys. <laughs> what else is here? This uh, scum pit, I guess? No, this is a scum pit. What's this? A boxing ring. Sorry, no boxing today. When's the next match? You just missed it. Try again in a couple of days. Seoul boxes every three days. Who's Seoul? Seoul is the local champion. Is the current favorite of Gizmo. Okay, who's this one? Chungtown peasant. Alright, let's go out here because it's faster to go all the way down. So we need dog tags. Uh, entrance. Uh, we need dog tags from uh, Killian. Can I talk to this guy? Just stopping by. Okay. Jail. I love this background music. They used it in Gecko in Fallout 2, and it's so awesome. And all right, this is my place. Want to hang out for a while? Oh no, of course I needed to go to that middle place. Okay. There, general store. Oh, why do the doors close? That's annoying. Blah, blah, blah. Nag, nag. They still ha still haven't removed the body. Come on. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The confession. Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Oh. He can give me stuff. No thanks, knowing that Gizmo's going to get his dues, thanks enough. Yeah, actually. I would like a shotgun and shells, but hey. I think this is the better option. Well, thanks again. <clears throat> well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Kind of depends on what you're willing to give. Sure, it'll be worth it just to see him trying to walk more than ten feet. <laughs> Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. And listen, this town owes you a lot. Thanks. All right, 500 experience for securing Gizmo's confession. Ah, this guy tells you about everything. Hey, I should be, yeah, 10 XP away from leveling. You know what? Am I full on uh, health? Yes, I am. Damn it. Are these guys full on health? I think they are. Because I could try using uh, heal or stuff like that. And get a little XP just to level. So I guess I have to go down here to the uh, main guard, right? Do I still have that bug? I don't think so. Yeah. <clears throat> a drunk town peasant. What is this thing? This blue thing. Looks cool. Some kind of a high-tech container. You ready to help take down gizmos? You bet. Oh crap, I should have saved. You bet, let's nail that tub. Alright, let's do it. Oh crap. Save please. No! So it comes down to this, Killian. Well, I never could put up with your stink, and now I'm gonna put an end to it. I'm here to take you in, Gizmo. This time I've got the proof I need. He doesn't even get up from <laughs> his table. 9mm Mauser. Damn, I should have saved. I hope this doesn't corrupt save games in combat like uh, Fallout 2 did with some... I think that only did it with... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Whatchamacallit? With... Um, with that Kaga encounter. Oh, there's more stuff I haven't seen here. Right, uh... Well, I think this guy will be more difficult, but let's see. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> Look there. <laughs> there's even the table here. Uh, the head. Um, let's go for the groin of this guy. Nice, but didn't take him out, damn it. Unfortunately, now he's gonna go for us, I think. Oh, oh, he's unarmed? Is that it? Oh, he's got some spiked knuckles or something. Yeah, eat him. 
Eat him, doggy. I'm gonna call him doggy. What? Only 61. Is that because he's too close? This doesn't have a scope. Huh. That's annoying. Let's try the head. Ah, bloody hell. Oh, you're not strong enough to use this weapon properly. Oh, come on, really? I need to in increase my strength then. Bloody hell. Dog meat, yeah, that is dog meat. Whoa, holy crap, look. He made a hole in the guy and the chair and... Ugh. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not strong enough to use this thing. Damn it. I can still do... Fair damage, but... Damn it. Whoa. Well, that was easy. What about the other guards? There's more guards here. Oh! Thanks for all your help. Here's 500 caps. You're always welcome in Junktown, friend. You gained 600 experience points for your work in the defeat of Gizmo. May the bastard rest in pieces. Excellent. Let's get our speech up. Should really get my small guns, but... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have put strength on 4. I should have kept it at 5. Damn it. Okay, let's get speech up. Okay. What? Oh! Huh. In Fallout 2, when you get past 101, you need two skill points for each percent. But here, you don't. Oh, that's interesting. However, I want small guns first. I need to level that up so I can actually do something. Good day. Just stopping by to say hello. So yeah, that is dog meat. He just follows ar us around. He's not an actual, you know, companion you can control or some or talk to, like in Fallout 2. But hey, that's cool. Everyone loved dog meat. Um, and we'll, I'm, I still have to see why. He's only got 50 hit points. Wait, wait, wait. There. Come on. Yes, you've you've told me that. Quite a few times now. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? I want to buy something. Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. Uh, let's see if he's uh, got cheaper stuff now. Yeah, bloody hell, that is cheap. Holy crap. Don't mind if I do. You know what? Uh, should I do this or should I... Uh, oops. Let's, uh, let's check out his other stuff. Done. Do I have a desert eagle? I think I picked it up. Yes, I did. It's it's a little less damage and much less range, but I don't need the strength. Minimum strength four, and this one is five. Damn. <sighs> damn, damn, damn. Okay. For now, I'll use a desert eagle. What does it use? 44. I don't have those, do I? No, these are 10 millimeter. Ah, bloody hell. Oh, well. Right, what do you have on these? Can I help you? I want to buy something. Another desert eagle. More. Oh, yes, yes, yes. More of these. Why does he have key rings? Multiple keys. For what? Huh. What the hell are these? Bags. An average sized bag made from weaved Brahmin hairs. Yeah, I don't need that either. Well, I could buy the uh, doctor's bag, but... Uh, yeah. I think I'll just keep it at that. Alright, let's uh, sell him some stuff. Don't need this. Don't need the grenades. Oh, that's quite a lot already. Uh, Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, need a hundred, bloody hell, of course. Uh, let's put this on, there we go. Thank you. Excellent, lots of stim bags. Yeah, see, it was, it's always worth doing stuff for the town first and then bartering because you'll get stuff much cheaper because they like you. So, thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.